Hello everyone, it's Robert from Hilton Got Volvo in Downham Market. Thank you very much for taking the time to have a look at this Volvo C40 that I've got here in my stock. Set off in this rather attractive thunder grey and really does look great with the uh, two-tone alloys, the black roof and wing mirror surrounds, the keyless entry, the dark tinted windows. Like all C40s, uh, this is uh, a fully electric vehicle uh, and it's the twin recharge motor. So there's two motors, so it makes it uh, all-wheel drive and it pushes out about 400 brake horsepower. So it really is no slouch. Let's open the doors and have a look inside. But seeing there on the side profile, what a great stance it has. Let's have a look inside. The inside is just as nice. You've got this lovely decor on the... Um, uh, on the insert shows you the topography of the Swedish uh, national parks in the inside the seats really lovely and comfortable you've got the new buck seat with the leather style bolsters and the off-white stitching and piping just looking up there you've got this lovely panoramic roof that you do have a blind to slide across but really does let in so much light you've got leg, leg extension there and your electric seats coming around the back same styling cues in the back three three-point bed Belts, eyes are fixed on the two outer seats, three independent headrests, uh, power supply in the middle, vents in the middle, and the two outer seats have heated seats as well, so lovely to see. Um, you've got your charging socket there, so you can charge in the standard um, socket, or you can pull out and use 150 kilowatts. That's the one that you'll charge uh, the car from 0 to 80% in about 40 minutes. Nice size boot with a 60-40 split seat, power tailgate, no rips or tears that can be seen, electric windows all round, electric mirrors, folding mirrors and you've also got that button there allows you to lock off the doors and the windows uh, in the back. The driver's seat is electric with two stage memory setting, let's jump inside. And sitting in the car it really is a lovely place. There's no ignition, there's no starter switch. All I do is just sitting in the seat and I touch the gear selector and there it is, fires into life. So it's telling you there that uh, you're in drive, you've got 90% range, it's telling you the speed of the road in front, so the, uh, the speed that you're doing, etc. Really is lovely and it's got the Google Maps in the middle. Great for giving live updates. Panning out, you've got auto lights, auto wipers, adaptive lighting, and a number of steering wheel controls. And if it can't be controlled from here, the chances are it's controlled from here. And very intuitive, just like your smartphone or your tablet. You've got your Google Maps in there, you can pinch in, pinch out. Uh, it really is clever. And again, gives live traffic information, etc. It also allows you to search for um, charging sockets, restaurants, anywhere like that. Just like uh, any uh, phone, you've got your home button. Uh, you've, that takes you back to the home screen. You've got uh, auto, uh, you've got your DAB as well as your FM and AM. Bluetooth for your phone, so making and receiving calls, but also as well listening to your music and your podcasts. Benefits from the 360 degree camera, although you can, if you so wish, choose which direction uh, you want to go. You've got your blowers, so you've got your heated seats in the bag, or the two outer seats at the back. This is where you choose the heated seats for the driver and front passenger, and the heated steering wheel. Also got the velocity of the blowers, and the direction of the blowers, whichever, you, whichever way you want to go. Have a number of other functions just to make the car unique. Uh, you have the Harman Kardon stereo. That allows you to have the best optimization of sound. So you can have surround sound and you can change the, the subwoofers, the bass and, 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 and the like. You can also as well set different driving modes being that it's off, it's all wheel drive or it's the two twin motor. You can choose off road mode. One pedal drive is often a one that's quite a popular one. You also got your charging limit, so you can see how much you want to charge, how quickly you want to charge, uh, and if you want to set a, a time so that you get the cheaper rate of energy, you can do that as well. Lots of other different, different functionalities. Coming down, you've got your different USB ports, your C-type chargers, 12 volt socket, charging cable, gear selector, and your uh, park. You'll notice there's no handbrake, doesn't need one. As soon as you get in the car, put it into drive, uh, then it, uh, it releases, as soon as you press park, a handbrake of sorts comes on. 
Well, I hope you found that of use. It was nice to show you around the C40. If you've got any questions, my name's Robert. I hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.